Wow. So look, now it's the end. Probably everybody is out, the Builder Burgers. So we left just just we, independent journalists. So now we can and I would like to ask you to com compare the, this uh, about this year with uh, the meetings in former years. Do you think that's something special this year? This year had a bigger um, impact on the geopolitical scale when it comes to uh, Brexit, when it comes to artificial intelligence, when it comes to also geopolitical moves made by the United States. Uh, I think Russia was also a major talking point for them. Also outside, they were more brazen when it comes to violating human rights, uh, more out in the open with it. Um, you had less mainstream media coverage. So it's more of um, more of an empowering for Bilderberg because they feel more confident and they feel like they could get away with a lot more this year. Um, and for now, they have, but it's a continual battle because the more they do, the more we rise up because of it as well. Um, so it's a continuing battle, them doing the cronian, tyrannical, immoral things to us and us answering back saying, no, we're not going to be afraid. Some people were afraid this year, I wasn't. They told me they would beat me up and uh, arrest me as soon as they saw me here. I just said, you know, well, I'm going to show up anyway. Yeah, we have seen your videos. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, uh, do you have some information about some uh, people which was not on the list? No, not this year. Uh, it was very hard to do the job this year, maybe because we were stopped everywhere we went. Constantly yeah. knee checks, oh, okay. threat of arrest, constant threat of physical uh, abuse, uh, just for trying to. You see want to make it happening. only of the camera? No, uh, come on. But uh, come on, more, come on. Just, uh, I see the, the camera. Come on. But, uh, this year, it's, possible, it's, very, yes. it's quite easy to make a picture of the people which are coming out or yeah. coming in. Yeah, but they also have the back and entrance, they also have private jet hangers, they also have all the police and mercenaries with them, and there could have been a lot of people that weren't on the list that were very important that could have been here uh, today, and they still had uh, object uh, privacy and object uh, secrecy. Okay, so. Just one last question. Uh, what do you think about uh, knowledge about Bilderberg in a, in a public? I mean, in a, all people, yeah. like, for example, in your country? Well, a lot of people are totally uh, ignorant of the fact that this actually does happen. That's mainly because of compliance of the mainstream media. And you are in attendance who are their owners, the corporate uh, control of them, is well represented, as well as other fellow district reporters, like myself. Um, you never hear anything from them. And um, the mainstream media has failed to do their job once again. They always fail to do it, yes. Uh, but that's why we're here. Uh, that's why we're we're replacing them by doing the job for them. And obviously, anyone who looks from this from an objective point of view, and you have BP, Goldman Sachs, HSBC, Google, Facebook, artificial intelligence companies, and the military-industrial complex, meeting with politicians and elected representatives using public tax money, who are supposed to serve the public interest, they're obviously not doing that here. Obviously, this is something very interesting that everyone should be concerned about. Everyone should care about. Uh, they don't because the information is not out there because it's being censored. But uh, we're doing our best to uncensor it and to do the job and replace the mainstream media by doing their job better. Yeah, in fact, I was waiting much more people here. I'm quite disappointed in this many comparing, for example, to London. Mm -hmm. well, so, do you think 
it will change during our lives. <laughs> I think so. Uh, hopefully. I know so. Uh, it has to, the trajectory of the rise of the internet and the trajectory of mass communication is being changed right in front of our eyes. It's only a matter of time since there'll be no secrets and there'll be no lies possible in the future because of all this wealth of information and all this knowledge that we're being able to consume uncensored. Obviously, they're working on ways of censoring it, but I don't think they will be successful. I don't think they are going to win the bigger information war. And uh, when information comes knowledge and power, and with that being diversified, we're all going to become very knowledgeable, very powerful, and we are already. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for the job. Thank you so much.